Welcome back, Chelsea fans. Uh, this time, we have the pleasure of chatting with Paolo Ferreira. So thank you for joining. Oh, my pleasure. Um, Nick, first one up. Yep. So how important was it to have uh, Mourinho at the club when, and, and Carvalho as well uh, when you started uh, at Chelsea from Porto in 2004? No, Jose, uh, you know, I've been saying this before, was an important person in my mm -hmm. in my career. Uh, you know, was someone that brought me to to the Premier League. You know, and um, and I felt happy with that. Uh, you know, to follow him, follow a great manager, uh, and especially coming from Portugal uh, to succeed in uh, in England. You know, mm -hmm. the Premier League is quite tough. And for me, it's, it's the best league uh, in the world. Um, and it was a big challenge as well. And, and, and also that pressure of, uh, of um, deliver as well. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, when you come with a manager, you know, all the expectations and what people are thinking as well. And, uh, you know, even some maybe the players at that time that they were here, they were, might think, oh, he came with a, with a manager. Yeah. Uh, you know, that kind of like his son or <laughs> yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. So we had to kind of, of prove that uh, that we we were good to you know to come yeah. to come with the manager and and and, uh, and good to play here and I was happy to you know to come and uh, and and succeed and, and also have Carvalho coming as well uh, was another top player and, and we could see his career as well yeah and it was amazing yeah. So you also scored your uh, your first goal uh, against yeah. the uh, um, Cloucester United in the FA Cup. How special was uh, was that moment for you? Oh, it was uh, it was special because of the first one mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, and hard as well because I would I would prefer to celebrate in a different way. But at that time we were losing one nil and, uh, mm -hmm. and that one was the equalizer. So my first reaction was looking for the ball and, and go yeah, going back, back yeah. and then just go looking for the second goal yeah and, uh but it was it was was fantastic and, and that has a an history as well there because normally as a full back we we used to stay you know mm -hmm. yeah we used to stay back mm -hmm. on, on, on set pieces offensive set pieces and uh and and i remember being uh, in the dressing room and, and jose came to me and he said you know today i want you to go you know, to, to corner kicks, I want you to go, and, uh, but uh, I want you to be in a, around the penalty spot, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and not to fight and whatever for the first ball, I just wanted to spin and, and go for, you know, second post for a, a second ball, mm -hmm. so because I believe today you, you will score a goal, and I was, I was looking, I said, <laughs> okay, you know, no problem, so, and, and mm -hmm. it was funny, I think it was the first corner, yeah. I went there, I did the movement, and the ball came and <laughs> scored, but then, <laughs> on the way, when I was running back, you know, it just, it just came, you know what what he was saying, and said, but how he knew, all that, you know, and it was, it was a funny one, and uh, you know, it was fantastic as well. Score goal, we we managed to win the game. Yeah, but of course, I would prefer to celebrate in a different way. Is is there any one of the trophies or competitions that you won that really stand out more than the others for maybe a personal reason or just because of the circumstances? You know, all, all of them are important. You know, that yeah, uh, titles, uh, but I, I think I think the. The first, you know, the first season in Premier League mm -hmm. was, uh, uh, you know, I think it was the one that that I felt more because uh, I was coming from a, a different league. And, yeah. Uh, also with that kind of pressure of coming with the manager and mm -hmm. and, uh, and also show that we, you know, we could win here as well. And uh, and the club was like, it was like after f fifty years. Yeah. As well and. Uh, and was was fantastic, you know. We had a fantastic group, you know, top players as oh, well, yeah. and uh, manager. Everything went uh, went really well. It was a perfect season, and uh, and win, you know, like the first, you know, that yeah. first major one because we I remember we won in in Bolton. February. February we, yeah. we had the also at that time the the Carling Cup. Mm -hmm. uh, but but you know the Premier League was uh, yeah. was the main one. Uh, of course, then it came. Champions League, the Europa League, whatever. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but I think that the first one is always yeah. special because it's your first season yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you kind of um, kind of proved yourself yes. to everyone that yeah. you belong. Yeah. That's Could awesome. you uh, describe yeah. the atmosphere in the locker room after the, <laughs> the Bolton win? No, I was. Uh, I remember at that time uh, I was I was in London. I didn't I didn't win because I, I broke my fifth metatarsal, so I lost I lost that last part of the season and, and the Champions League as well. 
uh, was hard for me, but uh, so I was always watching on television, and uh, that was uh, was great you know, to see, you know, yeah. that uh, that that moment, and uh, you know, it was fantastic. Is there a particular player or personality in the the dressing room that you kind of gravitated towards, or you know, felt like was you know either the most humorous or yeah, it was the the most exciting to kind of be around. Uh, but the time I was playing. Or yeah, when you're playing. No, I had uh, so many. You know, a lot of big personalities in that room. Person- I had, uh, for example, ASEAN that you you're not expecting, but it's a uh, it's a funny one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we had the uh, you know good times. Uh, we had some music or whatever, or going to a hotel. Mm-hmm. The, the you know the the night before. Um, and have Billy McCulloch is one of the masters where he yeah. some right. jokes or whatever. Yeah. And then after after that, we had the chef as well that used to to, to play guitar and sing. Oh, and, yeah. and, uh, and then Michael was coming and dancing and uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know and uh, it was it was good. It was really good. And someone that is quite uh, shy and reserved. Yeah. But uh, but he you know he's also a funny one outside of the of the pitch and inside of the pitch is like uh, he was. A tank, you know. Yeah, right. oh yeah. <laughs> it was unbelievable, but uh, yeah, it was it was really it was a really. I was lucky to to be in a time of of uh, you know not only top players but uh, mm-hmm. you know good good characters as well and yeah. strong uh, you know personalities and and also some funny yeah. funny ones as well. It was yeah. fantastic. Yeah, for sure. All right, well, yeah. Paulo, thank you so much for hanging out with us yes. and spending some time. Um, Again, our international audience is is excited to get this little insight with you, so we appreciate the time and everything. Best of luck with the Lone Army and, and the rest of everything at Chelsea. Thank you. Thank you. Now it was a big pleasure. Cheers.